everyone welcome back to my channel if you follow me on Instagram or you've seen one of my other videos you know that I am working on a coloring book with witchy Halloweeny type themes so I thought I would ink a page today and maybe chat a little bit throughout so this is the page that I'm gonna be inking it is just a girl hanging out on some really big pumpkins. She's got her little cat friend with her and she's wearing a little skater skirt and a crop top. It's very cute, very Halloween-y, very fun, and I like it a lot. So I sketched this with Crayola erasable markers and now I'm going to ink it. And the paper that I'm going to be inking it on is this um, Canson marker paper. It's very thin and a lot of people have um, don't like thin paper and they think that thin paper isn't good for anything and they don't like how it bleeds through and all this stuff and I mean I guess those are valid concerns but if you are using it the way that I'm using it which is just to ink on one side of the page I don't see any issue with using thin paper. This paper is very, very smooth. I like that a lot, especially for ink because it makes it glide on nice and smooth and easy. I don't really care that it's a little bit transparent. In fact, it's a good thing because I want to be able to see the sketch through this paper. And then I have my light box. This particular box has three light settings. This is the lightest one, this is the medium one, and this is the brightest. And I think just for the purposes of this video, I'm going to use the brightest setting so that you can see what I'm doing. But usually I use the medium or even the lightest version. To ink, I'm going to use Tombow brush pen. This is the harder one. So it's the blue one. I really like this. And I'm also going to be using these Staedtler fine liners. I'm going to pick out the point 0 0.1 and that's what I'm going to use to, um, to work on her face and any kind of fine details. Alright, so let's see if we can get this done before my battery dies. <laughs> It might seem a little bit weird and a little bit high stakes to start on the face, but I like starting on the face and on the eyes because I feel like if that turns out well, then I feel motivated to keep going and to keep inking. find my sketches very much so when I ink I usually just do the refinement as I go so it's a pretty rough sketch most people well, not most people. Some people probably wouldn't be inking at this point. They would probably be refining the sketch. But I personally really like a nice, like, a loose sort of look to my art. I don't like it to look too... I don't want to say polished, but I don't want it to look too like stiff and overdone. Plus I don't have the, I guess the patience to work on the same drawing for a really long time. This is 
it's also a pretty simple drawing, so. I feel like it's not too, when it's not too complicated, there's really no need to refine too much. I'm actually holding, what I'm doing is um, holding down the paper so that it's flush with the other paper. So I made it my goal to work on my witchy coloring book this month and finish all the inking for it. And I really hope that I can do that because I was actually hoping to release it um, on the 1st of October, which did not happen. I stopped working on it for a while and I think a lot of creatives and people who do art or write will relate to this is that sometimes you just you know you get stressed with life and your projects instead of being an escape for you end up being just another th like chore on your list of things that you need to do and so that's what happened with my coloring books even though I really really enjoyed making my mermaid coloring book to go from that to then immediately make another one and then to try and work on this one at the same time it was just like too much especially when I was feeling really stressed at work I have a full-time job so I yeah I was stressed from every angle. I don't even know what these twirly things are on a pumpkin. Are they the lines that you don't cut off? I don't know. They're just there. I used to actually really hate inking. I think maybe now that I'm older, I feel like I have the patience for it and I have the, I've built up some skills. Obviously not all the skills, I'm not like a master at it or anything like that, but I'm much better than I used to be. And I think that also helps when you're actually better at the thing that you don't like doing, when you actually, you know, do it for a while, then you become better at it, then you feel better about it. You don't dread it as much. Same, it's the same for um, creative skills and also for exercise and things like that. So yeah, I wanna do, I think I have about, eight pages done and I need 25 for the book. So here's hoping that I will complete my goal. Yeah, I feel like now Inking is more of a meditative thing. I just sort of zone out and do it and not, I don't feel like so high pressure and high stakes as I used to, especially since I started inking 
on another piece of paper. When I was inking on a, like if you're inking your original sketch and you hate inking and you stress, it stresses you out, sketch on a new piece of paper. Get a light box or DIY a light box or press your paper up to the window and it will really help you feel like it's not that big a deal. If you mess up, you can just do it again. No biggie. So yeah, sometimes pumpkins have this like weird texture. It's like almost like boils or something. So at this point I can switch off the light box and then now I can go in and add details and things. But like I said, this is a pretty simple illustration. I like to have a mix of simple and complicated pages in my coloring books so that no matter what mood you're in, you can find a page that you're interested in coloring. So, that's what I'm doing. I was just going to say that um, also a good thing about this paper is that it doesn't really smudge. The ink, once you lay it on there, it's on. You, and you can move your hand like I've been doing and it won't smudge. But um, as I was going to say that, I noticed that it did smudge a little bit. Alright, so that's it. That's this page. It'll be in my coloring book once I finally release it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon with a new video. Bye!